Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is October 2nd, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Today, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by two and a half points to 25.18 and a quarter per contract. All in all, futures were a little bit higher, but they have pulled back in off their highs. We'll see how today plays out. Mondays are usually notorious for very, very light volume. That does usually keep the markets buoyant, but we'll see how it plays out. Uh, today, unfortunately, we're going to talk about casino stocks, and we had a it was a, a terrible, terrible shooting in uh, Las Vegas last night. And again, unfortunately, uh, these things seem to occur more and more. Uh, but our sympathies and prayers go out to all of the victims and the victims' families that were involved in this uh, horrific event. Uh, MGM is on the radar today. So MGM, I believe, owned uh, the venue where the shooting occurred. But you could check up on that. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, stock is getting hit pretty sharply. It closed at $32.59. Now trading at $31.17. A level I do like for this stock today would be at $28.35. If it gets down to $28.35, I think there is a play there for MGM. Now in sympathy to MGM, we're going to have other casino names trading lower as well. Uh, Wynn Resorts is one in particular. Uh, stock closed at 148.92. It's now trading at 146.80. So we'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. Las Vegas Sands also uh, trading at 63.23. Uh, this closed at 64.16. So again, a little down ticking there for LVS. Uh, we'll also want to watch Caesar, C Z R Caesar Entertainment. That is trading at uh, 12.80. This closed at 13.35. So again, um, we have. Some pretty good downside action, the casino names, and this is all on the back of that terrible, terrible, I think it might be the worst mass shooting ever in the United States. So unfortunately, uh, these things continue to happen, but um, what can you say? It's just a horrible, horrible event, but um, we'll be watching these casino names that will be in play today. Let's take a look at Nordstrom. It looks like uh, there's a New York Post article out saying that the deal to go private may fall apart. Nordstrom trading down decently here. Closed at $47.15. Stock is now trading at $44.70. There's no level here that I see for Nordstrom just yet, but around that $43.50, $43.70, still a lot of support. So we'll keep that on the radar. We'll see how it plays out, but we'll look at this one closer once the opening bell rings today. So keep Nordstrom on your radar. Uh, Seagate Technologies, I believe, was down upgraded today. Excuse me. I think that was upgraded today. Stock is trading at $33.75. Closed at $33.17. So Seagate with a nice little bullish chart pattern, pushing higher. If you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone. Calmain Foods, I believe, had earnings, but you could check on that yourself. Stock right now is trading at 40 bucks. No real volume here, though, so we got to be a little bit careful there. No levels that I'm seeing right off the bat until we get down to a pierce of $36. We get down to around $35.85, $35.90, kind of like Calmain Foods there. So we'll look at this one. It's a light volume name. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see what it gives us, but right now that would be on my radar. Next up, I want to take a look here at uh, Akamai Technologies, AKAM. I believe this was upgraded as well. Stock is trading at $49.55. Closed at $48.72. So, again, Akamai getting a little bit of a pop here. And we'll see how that one plays out. Pretty good resistance, though, going into the $50 level. So, it's a gap window. Um, Got to watch for resistance at $50 for Akamai. Next up, I want to take a look at uh, Bluebird Bio. B-L-U-E is the ticker symbol here. I believe this was downgraded today. Stock closed at 137.35, now trading at 131.95. So this is a pretty good little haircut. I don't see a level off the bat here, but we'll try to find one once the opening bell rings in the intraday stock chat room. And again, if you haven't done so, come on over to the intraday stock chat room. We had a great week last week. Uh, great year. 2017 has been a blockbuster in the chat room. Even with the low volatility, even with the low volume, been able to find trades almost on a daily basis. So, again, and winning trades at that. So, if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room, and you'll see everything we're doing there. Let's take a look at Western Digital WDC. This was downgraded. Stock is trading at 84.70, closed at 
40. We'll try to find some levels here as well. I do see a few off the bat, but I'd like to see where the stock actually opens up at 9.30 a.m. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is trading down $6.70 to $1,278 an ounce. And if you take a look at the GLD, you'll see that's trading down as well to 121.18. A lot of support here for GLD at 120.80. So again, uh, we'll keep our eye on that, but uh, gold trading a little bit lower. Let's take a look here at the crude oil market. Crude is down a dollar thirteen right now to fifty dollars and fifty two cents a barrel so good little sell for crude crude's been on a tear to the upside first day it is retreating take a look at the uso which is good oil etf you'll see that's trading at ten dollars and twenty one cents so all in all uh we'll see how this all plays out today and we'll see where it goes uh, and again if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. Futures still down two and a quarter points, and we'll see how this market plays out once the opening bell rings. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we'll see you on the charts.